Hi, this is Aaron Booker with Varvid.tv. I'm lucky to be here today with Burger Steen. It really doesn't feel like a WPC unless I'm here with Burger. And, it doesn't uh, feel like one unless I'm here with you. <laughs> That's very much mutual. <laughs> so uh, this last year, there's been some changes for you. So what are you doing now? Yeah, so I had the, the great fortune to be uh, offered an opportunity at a company called Parallels. It's, it's written here. Um, Parallels is a cloud services enablement company. So we help partners get to the cloud. We connect the SMB cloud for partners. And uh, what better place to be than WPC to do that? So you guys are doing some pretty amazing things. I mean, Office 365, a lot of conversation here at WPC this year, that's really Microsoft's big focus. How are you guys helping partners that are interested in Office 365, but in a lot more to the cloud as well? Yeah, yeah no, so um, Office 365, I think primarily for, for the broader partner ecosystem, is uh, a way that Microsoft makes all boats rise. So the whole, the level of messaging, the level of marketing investment that's being pushed out there around why your business should live in the cloud and not in the server back room is something that we see helping all partners. Everyone is engaged in cloud or off-premise computing, meaning all hosters, all VARs that are moving, and uh, some of the big partners that we have been able to help in the syndication model. Because that's the other thing we've been doing. Um, out of the 27 syndicators that Microsoft announced on um, June 22nd, we've got um, eight of them so far, and we're working on a few more, um, running on our business platform, on our business automation platform. Now, to an end user partner, that's pretty exciting because that means they can roll out services but retain the branding, their own branding, and, and build a bundle and do their own, their own billing. That's actually what the syndication model does. So uh, what we hear from a lot of the partners that we serve that are not syndicators is that they would like that same capability. And um, I guess uh, Microsoft's having a hard think about that. Um, but at the same time, what we see in the rest of the partner ecosystem is that there is a demand being driven now for Microsoft um, hosted email, for hosted SharePoint, hosted CRM, hosted link, other cloud services that you can equally well deliver in a hosted model. And uh, about 5,000 of those hosters are using our technology to deliver cloud services to SMBs. And of course, many of those hosters are, are providing packages that VARs can then brand as their own, upload their logo, and then take on that billing relationship, keep that, retain that billing relationship without retaining the responsibility for the racks and the servers. And yeah, no, that's exactly it. So one of our partners, we, we were uh, positioned in the opening ceremony here with uh, Aptix, who's the biggest hosted exchange um, hoster in the world. And uh, they're actually doing exactly that. They're white labeling the whole Microsoft hosted stack so that VARs who want to get to the cloud can buy it and resell it under their own brand, pretty much like they're asking for with Office 365. And it's the same technology underneath. So uh, hey, with, with our business enablement system at the bottom, adding a reseller and rebuilding that two-tier channel that we all know and love uh, in the cloud is an easy task. Now, what I think is also really interesting that you're doing is you've got your own ISVs. So talk a little bit about some of those and how that really brings value to the, to the channel. Yeah, no, the, the, core, the core of our cloud services enablement platform is partly that it's multi-tier. So you can add channel downstream, which is good for VARs and good for SMBs who need VARs to serve their IT needs. The other very unique thing about it is that we are extending it upstream to the ISVs. And when I say extending it, it means that we don't build connectors for each new ISV and each new service provider. We've actually defined a standard that lets any ISV connect with any one of our service providers. Uh, it's called the Application Packaging Standard. If you, if you look around here, you'll see uh, several of those partners actually sharing our stand with us. We felt we should come in here and as a platinum sponsor, share the wealth around our own partner ecosystem. And what they've done is they've defined the application package and standard uh, manifest for their app. As a consequence, they have access to all our service providers. Um, and those are, by the way, all the Microsoft Office 365 syndicators, because this is the exact way we enabled Office 365. So um, it's a standard to help ISVs connect in the cloud to the 150 million SMBs in the world. Well, Berger, thanks so much, as always. 
always a pleasure to talk with you and, and great to see how you're helping the partner channel with your new company. Yeah, I know it's, uh, you know, you know, it's been a passion for me for, for some time uh, to really help enterprise class IT uh, get to the end SMB end user through the partner channel. And that's exactly the business we're in. So Aaron, I mean, it's a pleasure and it wouldn't be WPC without you. Thanks so much, Berger. Aaron Booker from Varvid.tv.